wasn't a nationally televised announcement, nor a grand event with fireworks and drones in the sky. The revolution Elon Musk is preparing is happening behind the scenes, almost silently, but it promises to turn everything we currently understand about electric vehicles upside down. The 2026 Tesla Model 2 won't be just another car in the lineup. It will mark the beginning of a new era with the use of aluminum ion batteries, a technology that could be cheaper, cleaner, and much more efficient than the current lithium ion standard. What was once just a rumor has begun to materialize with internal leaks revealing an annual production of 85 Vidoritiu Chabe Tadori's t -word. Enough to power 212 million Model 2s simultaneously. This number alone is impressive, but what's truly striking is the contrast with what we have today. Global lithium ion battery production barely reaches 28 Tito D1 per year. In other words, Tesla plans to manufacture three times the global capacity, and with one crucial detail using a much more abundant material. Aluminum represents 8.1% of the Earth's crust and is 150 times more abundant in nature than lithium. While entire countries worry about lithium scarcity and the geopolitical costs of its extraction, Tesla appears ready to completely ignore this race and blaze an alternative trail with something within everyone's reach. And it's not just abundance. Aluminum can be extracted from soda cans, construction waste, discarded industrial components, and any other type of scrap. What's more, with a recycling efficiency of 98, 5%, virtually all of this material can be reused in new cycles without significant losses. This makes the process not only more sustainable, but also extremely economical. Unlike lithium, which requires aggressive mining and highly polluting operations, aluminum can be reused almost infinitely. What was once waste is now being transformed into energy for a new generation of vehicles. The environmental impact of this choice is immense. Lithium extraction destroys approximately 500,000 acres of natural landscape per year, affecting entire ecosystems, water sources, and indigenous communities. Aluminum, on the other hand, being recyclable and available virtually anywhere in the world, eliminates the need for large-scale extractive operations. This difference completely changes the game and dismantles the argument that the energy transition must necessarily involve the damage caused by lithium. With this move, Elon Musk knocks lithium off its pedestal and exposes an uncomfortable truth. Perhaps it was never the best choice. This explains why mining companies and executives in large supply chains are on alert. Tesla is building a regionalized supply chain capable of operating with recycled inputs and without relying on unstable countries or opaque regimes. By doing so, it not only reduces costs, but also cuts ties with conflict zones and areas where child labor is exploited, such as cobalt mining in the Congo. Tesla's new approach threatens not only the lithium economic model, but also an entire global structure built on controlled scarcity and price manipulation. Internally, Tesla is repositioning the Model 2 as the ambassador of this new phase. Each unit will roll off the production line with a battery pack made from recycled aluminum, paving the way for, for the first time, a mass-market electric vehicle to be truly affordable and clean from start to finish. This isn't just green marketing, it's a paradigm shift. A car driven not by empty promises of sustainability, but by technology that delivers on its promises. High efficiency, low cost, and virtually zero environmental impact. The kind of innovation that can, in fact, accelerate adoption on a global scale. The adoption of this technology is still being refined, but tests already conducted have proven its viability. It's no longer a question of if, but of when this shift will happen. Tesla isn't just adapting an existing solution. It's creating a new energy ecosystem based on something we used to throw away. And this changes everything, from production costs to the disposal of urban waste. Every recycled can becomes a piece of the future that powers the next car, the next device, 
or the next smart home? And how will this type of large-scale production be made feasible? This is where the next step in Musk's plan comes in. The construction of a global network of strategically positioned gigafactories to supply different regions of the planet with aluminum ion batteries. What seemed unlikely just a few years ago is now on its way to becoming a reality. Tesla doesn't just want to produce cleaner cars, it wants to completely change the concept of how these cars are made, where the energy that powers them comes from, and who actually controls this process. The idea of a global factory network may seem bold at first glance, but Tesla isn't just dreaming, it's executing and fast. The strategy behind this expansion is directly linked to the industrial and energy independence that Elon Musk so champions. By spreading aluminum ion battery production across multiple regions, Tesla is definitively cutting its dependence on China, which currently dominates the lithium battery supply chain. And this isn't just a matter of logistics or economics. It's a geopolitical move that directly challenges the Chinese monopoly. The Texas Gigafactory, for example, has already been announced as the main production hub for North and Central America. With a target of 25 TWN per year by the end of 2026, the factory will be equipped with 47 assembly lines running 24 hours a day, producing a battery cell every 2.3 seconds. All this on a 12,000-acre site, and with 35,000 employees earning average salaries of $75,000 per year. The goal is clear, to supply all Model 2 demand for the United States and neighboring countries without relying on external inputs. Meanwhile, in Mexico, a new facility is emerging as a key player in Latin American markets. Located near Monterrey, the factory will produce 20 TDWN of annual production and will also become Tesla's main export hub for South America. The $8.5 billion investment will not only transform the region's infrastructure, but will also create 28,000 direct jobs and over 180,000 indirect jobs, boosting local industries and creating a completely new innovation ecosystem in the country. In Europe, the plan is even more aggressive. The Berlin plant, which was already operating with a focus on vehicles, will now integrate the production of aluminum ion batteries, but it won't be alone. Two new facilities are being planned, one in Poland and the other in Spain, bringing the total capacity of the European continent to 25 TWN by the end of 2026. More than 42,000 jobs will be created directly, and for the first time in two decades, the continent will be able to free itself from the energy and technological dependence imposed on Asian suppliers. The Asian strategy, however, is surprising. Instead of confronting China head-on, Musk has opted to circumvent it. Tesla is establishing factories in India, Thailand, and South Korea, totaling 15 TWN of regional capacity. In doing so, it is establishing an industrial belt outside Beijing's direct influence. These facilities not only provide extremely competitive production costs, but also strengthen Tesla's presence in emerging and technologically promising markets. It's a quiet but devastating move. This regionalization of production is more than just efficiency. It's a direct response to decades of manipulation in the global battery trade. Dependence on a few suppliers has made the industry vulnerable to geopolitical crises, material shortages, and labor abuses. Now, with strategically positioned factories supplied with locally recycled aluminum, Tesla can guarantee stability, predictability, and autonomy. No other manufacturer in the world has anything like it. And that's precisely the point. With this global network operating in sync, Tesla gains a massive advantage over its competitors. Instead of importing components from multiple countries, facing delays, tariffs, and currency uncertainty, the company now controls the entire supply chain from end to end within stable territories, and with local incentives. This allows it to scale Model 2 production quickly, keep costs low, and ensure that every unit sold is free from the constraints of an outdated global system. The most fascinating thing about this whole story 
is how this strategy connects with the initial idea of energy autonomy. It's not just about cars or factories. It's about localized production networks that transform scrap into cutting-edge technology. It's about independence at every level. And this structure is the foundation for something even greater, an industrial offensive that will put Tesla in a position no traditional automaker can achieve alone, even with decades of experience and billions in cash. While most automakers are still trying to figure out how to reduce costs without compromising performance, Tesla seems to have found a formula that borders on the impossible. The new Model 2, scheduled for 2026, will hit the market costing just $22,000. That alone would be shocking news. But what's even more surprising is that, even with this aggressive price tag, Tesla will manage to maintain a 40% profit margin, a figure that currently seems unattainable for any other manufacturer, even with generous government subsidies. The key to this lies, once again, in the new aluminum ion battery. The production cost of this new battery is around $2,800 per unit. For comparison, an equivalent lithium ion battery costs around $8,400. This difference of over $5,500 per car creates an overwhelming advantage for Tesla, which can pass on part of these savings to the consumer and still make an unprecedented profit. And it's not just about price. The Model 2's 75 kilowatt pack will offer up to 520 miles of range while weighing 60% less than its lithium-ion counterparts. This completely changes the game in terms of efficiency and cost per mile. The same technology will be rolled out to other existing models. The Model 3 Highland, for example, will be equipped with aluminum batteries and will offer 680 miles of range, almost double the current segment average. Furthermore, the car will have a curb weight reduction of 890 pounds, which directly impacts fuel consumption, drivability, and component wear. The Model Y, which will also be updated with this new battery in 2027, will offer 630 miles of range and a price tag $8,000 lower than the current versions. But perhaps Tesla's greatest asset in this new scenario lies in the heavy-duty transportation sector. The Tesla Semi, with its aluminum battery, will redefine the industry standard. It will have a range of 1-200 miles and will be able to recharge its battery to 80% in just 15 minutes. For logistics companies, this represents savings of approximately $127,000 per truck each year, in fuel alone. Not to mention the elimination of emissions, reduced maintenance costs, and complete independence from diesel, a fuel that still dominates freight transportation. These figures are being viewed with apprehension by competitors who have invested billions in lithium technologies, expecting returns over the next decade. With Tesla drastically reducing its costs while simultaneously increasing its margins, the competition is becoming unbalanced. It's as if the company has reinvented the very foundation on which the industry rests. While others chase efficiency, Tesla is already riding on economies of scale and supply chain dominance, with aluminum as its wild card. The most interesting thing is that, by offering cheaper, higher performance products, Tesla isn't just gaining market share, it's changing the profile of who can afford an electric car. With the Model 2 costing just over $20,000, the vehicle is no longer an elite option and is now competing with popular combustion engine models. This has the potential to accelerate the energy transition at an unprecedented pace, especially in emerging markets and regions with lower purchasing power. This entire cost structure, autonomy, and scale make Tesla's lineup extremely difficult to achieve. Profit margins become a shield against crises, currency fluctuations, or even occasional increases in raw material prices. This allows the company to maintain stable, predictable, and competitive prices, something other automakers can only achieve by sacrificing quality, autonomy, or innovation. This new business model paves the way for Tesla to expand beyond the automotive sector and extend this brutal efficiency to other areas. 
And that's exactly what's already being prepared behind the scenes. A complete ecosystem where the aluminum battery powers not only cars, but also cell phones, tablets, appliances, and surprisingly, even entire homes. When it comes to Tesla, it's easy to picture only electric cars and technology on wheels. But Elon Musk has other, far more ambitious plans. The aluminum ion battery, which began as the heart of the Model 2, is now the brain of a quiet revolution that extends far beyond the roads. Imagine a smartphone that never needs recharging throughout its entire lifespan. This is the concept behind the Pi phone, Tesla's smartphone that promises to put an end to the vicious cycle of plugging in the charger. With 250,000 recharge cycles and maintaining 95% of its original capacity even after decades, this device can last up to 50 years without replacing the battery. This isn't just hype. The technology behind it is real. The aluminum battery offers significantly higher energy density than lithium. Without the problems of rapid degradation, Tesla's idea is simple. If you can use the same battery for decades, why keep changing phones every two years? With an estimated price of $480, the Pi phone aims to offer iPhone performance for less than half the price. And with battery life, that makes any current device seem outdated. For Musk, this is the answer to the planned obsolescence model that underpins the current smartphone market. And it doesn't stop there. The Pi tablet offers the same proposition. With an estimated battery life of 96 hours of continuous use and weighing 55% less than current iPads, the device will be ideal for those who work with creativity, gaming, or long hours of use. The ultralight and long-lasting battery makes it ideal for environments with limited access to electricity, from rural areas to conflict zones. And with 3200 of energy density, the device not only lasts longer, but also delivers significantly more performance per gram. Apple, which has always led the way in this sector, now finds itself under pressure from a competitor that has simply changed the rules of the game. This technological advancement is beginning to permeate daily life in increasingly visible ways. Tesla Appliances, the company's new division, is developing a full line of home appliances powered by aluminum ion batteries. Refrigerators that run for 15 years without being plugged in, washing machines that use solar energy to recharge, air conditioning systems with autonomy lasting weeks. All of this is powered by built-in batteries without the need for connection to the traditional power grid. It sounds like science fiction, but it's in the final stages of development. The idea behind this is to create a completely self-sufficient home. No wiring, no electricity bills, no blackouts. And most surprisingly, all of this will be possible using recycled and repurposed materials such as aluminum cans and discarded industrial components. The trash of the past has become the fuel of the future. And unlike other green solutions that require large investments or complex adaptations, Tesla products promise to work plug and play with autonomy, lightness, and a long lifespan. This ecosystem also changes the way people relate to technology. If before the fear was running out of battery in the middle of the day, now the question is, what else can be powered by this inexhaustible source? Consumers will no longer need to worry about outlets, wires, or adapters. Everything will work with almost invisible efficiency, as if by magic. And best of all, without relying on mining companies, polluting energy, or fragile grids. It's a complete liberation from electricity bills, chargers, and the limited lifespan of devices.